Hello again. In this video we are going to be discussing an exciting new software upgrade. I'm happy to introduce Easy Remote I.O. version 1.2.0.15 as well as a new configuration export tool which can create a file that can be imported directly into your Codasys project, thus reducing the complexity of configuring your I.O. in your project. So let's get started. So here I have open an instance of Easy Remote I.O. version 1.2.0.15. And uh, just like the old version of Easy Remote I.O., it's just as easy to use. Uh, we can do an automatic scan. Now I have my coupler connected to my I.O. and on my network already. So we'll do a scan and of course it found it and I want to add this to my project. Uh, so here you can see the two cards that I have connected right now. And uh, to create the export all you have to do is go to File, select Export XML. This so will create an XML file with our configuration data in it. And uh, here I select everything that I want to export. Uh, we've got all of our channels here, which is going to be our data coming in off of it. And then we've got the internal registers for all the cards, for the configuration registers and whatnot. Lastly, we just need to select a file location. and I'm putting it in the same file as my Codasys project. Successfully exported. Now here in my Codasys project, if uh, you remember in the past we had to add all of these devices manually, we still need to add our Ethernet adapter. And then uh, we need to add our Modbus master. Then we go to uh, project and we want to import the PLC OpenXML. And uh, here's our file we created. and boom there it is. Now you'll notice this may be uh, look a little different than the old configuration but uh, if you go in here to the IO mapping you can see here are all of our IO points. So then we just need to um, give them aliases just like we always did in the in the past. That's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.